Wait, how did Grandma get behind the sofa? It really is quite easy to place a character behind items in a background. Keep watching and I'll show you how. Hello, this is Randy with some Create Studio Pro tips. First, let's review a video editor fundamental. When you have multiple tracks on your timeline, items on the upper tracks will be in front of the lower tracks. So to put Grandma behind the sofa, she needs to be on a track lower than the sofa object. With that in mind, let's look at some of the backgrounds provided by Create Studio Pro. Some backgrounds are a group of items. When I drag this wooden Office 4 onto the canvas, notice what you see in the timeline. At the beginning of the track is a symbol of stacked diamonds. That symbol indicates this background is a group, and since it is a group, we can open it up and examine what is in that group. Select the clip with your mouse and you will see a blue outline indicating it has been selected. Now, notice the Open Group button. Click on the button and now the timeline has three tracks. A desk, a chair, and the rest of the image named Office. From the Group Editor, you can select objects and manipulate them. For example, you can move the desk. To close the group, head up to the blue banner on top and click Back to Main Timeline. Not all backgrounds contain groups. Some are a single image, like this Singapore background. Alright, we are ready to create the scene where Grandma stands behind the sofa, so delete all tracks on the timeline and drag onto the canvas Office View 3. Drag Grandma onto the canvas and change her action to one of the talking actions. Use the size of the furniture to resize Grandma. Now it is time to put Grandma behind the sofa and here is a tip for the easiest method. Click on the folder icon in the top left. By default, my files will be highlighted and in the Project Media, notice the folder called Office View 3. Click on that folder and it will open up and show all the assets in the group. Drag the sofa onto the canvas and resize and reposition the sofa to match the original. You could painstakingly adjust the size and position of the sofa to perfectly overlay the original, but there is an easier way. Tip. Click on the office group, open the group, select the sofa, and delete it. Return back to the main timeline and there you can see Grandma is behind only one sofa. Before I finish, let's make sure Grandma is not breaking the laws of physics. Be careful of the placement of her feet compared to the position of the sofa legs. We don't want her feet to appear in front of the sofa while her body is behind the sofa. So position Grandma, the sofa, or both so it appears natural. There you go. That is how you can place a character behind an item in a background. You may ask, is there a way to put characters behind objects in an image background? The answer is yes, but that is an advanced topic involving masking that I will create a tutorial for shortly. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.